Video, we're going to do a little multitask in here. Um, the first part of this video, I want to share with you a product that I picked up a couple haul videos again, ago, and then in the second part of this video, we're going to actually get down to the haul. So a couple haul videos ago, I picked up a product from City Beauty, and the product is called City Lips. Now, um, I purchased this. I kept seeing a lot of information going um, on Instagram with it, and I was like, well, this is just really interesting, you know. And then they had a little video that you could actually go watch, and it had all sorts of information. I'm going to do my hardest to try and figure out how to link that video down below for you all to watch. Um, this is going to be one of those um, products that is supposed to plump your lips but without any type of harmful ingredients or without like that uh, bee stinging or that burning sensation. Um, I, the, on that video, um, it was really kind of, kind of scary watching it because it showed um, several gals that, you know, they had little sores on their lips, which I mean, for me, I do not like, you know, I like the plumping effect. I like, you know, I'd love to have fuller lips, but um, I just cannot do that whole bee stinging thing, you know, and just that irritation. My lips just feel irritated to me. That's what it feels like. So this product is supposed to give you that same appearance without all of the uh, bee stings and all of the um, irritations. Okay, again, it is by City Beauty, and the product is called City Lips, and this is the box that it came in. Really nice little packaging that it came in. Um, the product itself just kind of fit right, you know, really nicely in the package. This is the container that the product comes in. Just a really nice little, you know, like a little lip gloss um, tube here. And let me go ahead and bring this out. It is a little doe foot applicator, as you can see. Now I want to go ahead and just um, briefly give you just a little bit of information about this product. It did come with a, just a little card here. Um, it says Plumping Lip Gloss City Lips Hyaluronic Acid Spheres. These plumping spheres use the skin's own natural moisture um, to give wrinkles a plumped up look from the inside out. Oligopeptide technology fuels skin's collagen synthesis and the skin's dermal matrix for increased youthful appearance. And it has jojoba oil in it, which forms a barrier that effectively locks moisture in and keeps the lips looking soft, smooth, and supple. It also has a little of the ylang ylang flower oil, which comforts, soothes, and rejuvenates dry chap lips while helping protect them from the elements. Now the directions on this are just very simple actually. Um, it says how to use, um, number one, apply a generous amount to clean or dry lips. And then it says for best results, wait two to three minutes before applying uh, any lip color. And then number three, it says must continue use to maintain and improve results. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot you all in. So right now I have absolutely nothing on my lips at all. They are clean and they are definitely dry. So let's go ahead and I'm going to try just a little bit of this. It does have the little doe foot applicator there. I mean faintest, barely detectable. Little um, hint of a mint smell to it. All right, so right now um, I don't feel any type of a tingly or any sensation really at all um, on my lips right now. Um, this just feels like a thick gloss. It definitely does have just a little bit of that, you know, tackiness to it. Now, one thing that I am noticing, and maybe you all are noticing too, my lips are turning just a tiny bit uh, more pinkish, like they're getting a little bit more pink in the color. The lines in my lips do appear to be softer, maybe like plumped up a little bit. Um, as far as me having like a fuller lip, maybe slightly, um, you know, what do you all think? Now I didn't say, you know, that I had to wipe any of this off or anything or to tissue anything off. 
So I'm not really sure how this is going to apply, you know, how my lipstick or a lip liner is going to apply with something already on my lips. I'm going to go ahead and just try to line my lips just with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the uh, in Pillow Talk. So I'm definitely having to, you know, like an over exaggerated lip line, I guess, you know, because it's not, it's not going to adhere um, to the, where I put the gloss. So I'm having to go right underneath where I, where I put the gloss. I'm going to have to go above where I put the gloss. But without the lipstick, do you all see how pinky, um, I mean, my lips are just really like, um, really pinky color. All right, so this is what it looks like a little bit up close. So um, you can see that the lipstick has kind of like just kind of gelled itself in with the gloss that I put on. Um, I don't know. I think what I would like to try is to go ahead and maybe um, dab this off a little bit, kind of dab it off a little bit, and then try and put on my um, lipstick. Because right now, I just feel like what I am wearing on my lips is just basically um, a tinted lip gloss. Okay, so now I have kind of, you know, tissued that off a little bit. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and go back in with that lip, um, the lipstick that I had on. Okay, for me, I kind of like it better, you know, kind of tissueing that extra off, you know, and then going in with just, you know, a lipstick. Well, I do like how my lips are looking, not, not like, like, you know, I have a lot of lips to, you know, speak of here, but um, I don't know, they just, they feel very hydrated. Um, for some reason, they do feel just a little, um, just a tad bit plump, plump than what they were nothing that is like you know heavily exaggerated or anything like that but um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to back you all out and I'm going to back up my camera and then we're going to get started with the haul so I'll go ahead and start um, testing out the City Beauty and start applying it several times a day and um, keep you all informed on what I think about it. So I thought, you know, like I said, I'll go ahead and try and link everything down below for you all so that you can go watch the video. It was a very, very informative, very interesting video. All right, so let's start out with some of the things that I picked up from Premier Look. The first thing I had to go ahead and get a backup of is the Osmosis Cleanse. This is going to be my second um, bottle of this. I love this. This stuff is so darn good. Um, this is what I use as my second cleanse, sometimes in the mornings and at night mostly. Um, I've been kind of rotating between this and a CeraVe that I'm just still trying to finish up, but this is, I, I love this. Um, but anyway, this has got like a burst of like a lavender peppermint. It is just so wonderful. Um, it is just like this milky, I don't want to say it's a lather because it really doesn't like lather, but it's just a milky substance that just, I mean, cleanses my skin, doesn't leave my skin feeling dry or stripped or anything. So I love this one. Absolutely love that one. Um, I had to go ahead and pick up another one of my Sunita's Lemon Cream Scrubs. This is my absolute favorite way of manually exfoliating. I use this basically every single morning. Every single morning I'll go in with this. Sometimes I'll go ahead and mix a little bit of my Osmosis Cleanse in there together with the two. And the two of these together is just phenomenal. I love the two of these together. All right, another cleanser that I picked up from Premier Look. Um, this is by a company called Men or Moon. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is the box that it came in. Um, this is called the Purifying Cleanser, and it says it is gentle pH balance formula, leaves skin soft and moisturized, sweeps away impurities and unclogs pores, removes waterproof makeup and sunscreen, suitable for all skin types. Um, it comes in a really nice glass pump bottle here. Um, I'm just, you know, oh, it smells really nice. It's a very, very faint smell. I mean, a very faint smell of some type of a citrus in there. Um, but anyway, Brianna has been raving about this, so I wanted to go ahead and pick this up. You know, she is the one that got me hooked on the osmosis cleanse. So, you know, and I mean, I just trust her, you know, with all of the medical grade skincare that she does carry. 
she knows her brand she knows her ingredients so anyway that's why I wanted to go ahead and pick this up and give it a try this is the Essie this is the speed setter this is what I use um, on my nails every time um, you know as a, a fast dry coat I love this this has got to be my favorite way to you know really get that um, you know, especially if I'm in a hurry and I want my nails to hurry up and dry. I mean, that's what I, that's what I go to and put on them. Now, um, I just had, me and Kenny went, um, yesterday and I got some, um, some gels put on. So anyway, I think they're kind of pretty. I like this. Um, and then I picked up a, um, this is the OPI and this is in the shade called Bubble Bath. My sister Lisa was telling me about this, and I also noticed that Lisa Lisa D1 also really loves this one, so I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. Looks like just a beautiful, like a nudie pink tone to it, so I thought that would be really pretty. And I picked up another one here, and this is a, um, by Essie as well. And the shade in this one is called You, Me, and the, you, me, and the C. Isn't that beautiful? Let me see if I can get in here and get a really, really nice. It's like this pinky red color with a lot of shimmer in it. Oh, this is going to be stunning on. So I wanted to go ahead and pick that up. You know, I have really gotten into, um, you know, doing uh, sugar scrubs on my lips. So I wanted to pick this one up. This is by Milani and it said, uh, keep it sweet sugar lip scrub. This is the packaging that it comes in. Now, you know, it's really going to be hard to beat that Sarah Hap one because I love Sarah Hap lip scrubs. But this is the little um, jar that it's in. This is what it looks like inside. That Very finely milled sugar. The casing of um, the oils feels very nice. It has, it has like a, uh, maybe like a hint of like a brown sugar smell to it. But I think this might be very nice, and um, it looks very, you know, like it's going to be very hydrating as well. So anyway, I love the sugar scrubs. I've been loving them. So I want to go ahead and give this one a try bit. I think this is going to be nice. This one might give the Sarah Hap a run for its money. This is going to be the first thing that I have ever tried from the Koki brand. And this is called the Artist Palette uh, Peachy Queen. Such beautiful, beautiful packaging on here. Very nice, very weighty packaging. Um, I just thought that this was just beautiful. And you do get a, a generous size mirror there. But look at the colors in this eyeshadows. Aren't these just stunning? These are just so, so pretty. I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to have these. Okay, so that is three colors that I just swatched there on my hand. And a lot of times, too, with the darker colors, um, you know, they do, they can look a little patchy on the swatches, but once you get them, you know, actually on your eyes and get them blended out with a brush, you know, they, they appear a lot prettier. Okay, so there's another beautiful pink. Isn't that so pretty? I'll do a, like a little get ready with me or something, and uh, we'll test these out together. Um, this is the Hourglass, and this is the Veil, the Translucent Setting Powder comes in the packaging like that. Beautiful packaging. Oh, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Isn't that pretty? So it's got a little um, bowl type here. In the top of the lid, if you can see here in the very top, this part right here is raised up, but it's also got like a little dome shape in the top of this as well. So what you're supposed to be able to do is to, um, you know, put the cap back on and everything and just kind of give it just a little shake. And it is supposed to, you know, properly dispense just exactly the right amount of what you're going to need on your, on your face. You know, so that you can dip your brush down in there. So I think that this is going to be really pretty. Okay, so getting absolutely real and absolutely honest here, I am no stranger to food. I love to eat. I do. But my weakness is sugar. Uh, I love pastas. I love, I love all of the things that we're not supposed to eat. I, I do, and so every once in a while, if I can find something that is kind of good for me, um, you know, I am all over it. And oh my word! And I was just thinking on the back of the box, it says you found the one, and I was like, you darn skippy, I did. I did find you. This is, um, you know, one of the little bars, and it is by. It, it's called One. 
And the flavor that I have got is this Happy Birthday, the birthday cake. Um, this has got 20 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar in it, 210 calories. Carbs in it is 22 grams. The fiber is 9 grams. So, um, you know, that's not bad for 1 gram of sugar. Now, let me just tell you all. These are absolutely amazing. I mean, amazing. And, you know, a lot of the times, some of the bars, you know, I mean, they're, I'm like, ugh, you know, okay, you're supposed to be good for me. But they, a lot of them just taste horrible. And that's why I'm just like, no, that's, no, you're not good for me. You can't, anything that horrible tasting cannot be good for me. But this, look at this. This is just so, so good. If you love, like, like a cupcake, like a vanilla cupcake, um, or you know, like that birthday cake, that vanilla with the vanilla icing, you're gonna love these because they're just absolutely amazing, and that's what it looks like inside. But it's got the little, you know, like the little confetti sprinkles here on it. Oh my gosh, these are so good! I am good. I am kidding. These are like the bomb, and. I could honestly, I mean, you know, I know that you're only supposed to eat one. And I do. I'll eat one. But I can tell you what, they're so good. Yeah, I could hurt myself on these. But anyway, I just wanted to show these to you. So pick up a box. I found mine at Walmart. Walmart and also saw them at Target. Hmm. No, I don't want to put you down. But I have to. I got to finish this video. Oh gosh, you're so good. All right, so my cousin Missy, she turned me on to the Coach Outlet online. And we had gone to dinner one night, and I was like, oh, my word, I love that handbag. And she's like, it's Coach. And I was like, well, yeah, I don't know it's Coach. And she said, but it was like less than $100. So I was like, are you kidding me? What? It's a knockoff something. She's like, no, honey, it's not. It's the real thing. And so anyway, she hooked me up with the Coach um, Outlet that it's online. And what I'll do is I'll link the uh, place to it down there where you can go and sign up and get all that good stuff. But, but isn't this purse just beautiful? I thought that this was so, so pretty. Um, it does have, you know, on the side it's got all beautiful hardware on the bottom. It's got your little feet on there as well. This is the back of it. Inside it is a zip, you know, with the zipper. And there is um, a compartment inside of it let's see the compartment is well there's got it's got two compartments actually and it also has the um the strap where you can carry it as the strap you know or you can take the strap off and do just the handles on it um you know and the strap is you know the lengthening type strap i thought this was so beautiful now i will tell you here on the little ticket that came on it it was Here's the little price tag that was on that purse, $495 for that bag. And here's the receipt of where I paid for it, $194. That is a huge discount if you're wanting a really, really nice, authentic, I mean, it's the real thing. It is a real coach bag. Um, I mean, that is just, I was like, oh my gosh, that is incredible. So I just, this was a little um, charm that I had picked up at a little um, store out here. So anyway, I just kind of added my little twist onto the little bag. But isn't this so pretty? I love this. I think it's just beautiful. So anyway, yes, I went ahead and got me a little coach bag. The only drawback to that thing, though, is that, that uh, whenever, you know, whenever you sign up with the, uh, you know, with it through the email or whatever, you know, and they just keep sending you things and they're like taunting you and they're like, oh, look at this. You wanted this purse. Now, look, we got free shipping and an extra 10% off. That side is a little dangerous. All right, let me go ahead and show you a couple uh, little new pairs of shorts that I got. I picked these up at Bell's. I went back to Bell's and I thought these were so pretty. They have got pearls on them. These are so cute. Now, these have a little, they're a little bit longer length than what the other ones were that I got. So they're a little bit longer, but they've got that cute little distressed hem on them. Um, this one right here, these are by Nine West. 
So I thought they were really cute. There's nothing nothing fancy on the pockets or anything, but you do get, you know, the details on both sides of the um, the little pearl. So I thought, you know, it would kind of match with the little shirt that I've got on today. I thought that was so cute. And they fit just beautifully, so I went ahead and picked up two pairs of them. And while I was at, now see, when I went and did my last haul, I went to the Bells that was in Canton. So this time, Candy and I, we were out running some errands and everything, so I went to the Bells up in Gun Barrel. And I went back through um, the shoe department, which I should not have done, but I'm, I'm glad that I did because I went ahead and I got another pair of the little Jelly Pops, but this time I got them in pink. The other ones that I got, I think they were in like an off-white or something, so I got these little Jelly Pops in pink, and I love the Jelly Pops. Oh my word, they are so comfortable. I mean, they're just so comfortable. It's almost like walking just like on a little cloud or something. So anyway, I thought these are so cute, and they are the ones that are already pre-laced, you know, and you just kind of slide your foot in there. And they are really stretchy, really givey, you know, really givey in, the, in them, so... I, I love these. They're comfortable. Comfy, comfy shoes. And then I just kept looking around in the shoe department and I found a pair of uh, New Balance. I thought these were so pretty. They are a beautiful grayish color with that peachy, real light peachy pink to them. The soles of them are that really pretty peachy color. So that's what these look like. Really pretty. I am loving these little shoes. They're so cute. So these have got, you know, inside of them, they're not like that real, like that memory foam or anything like that. Um, you know, but I mean, they are a little cushy on the inside, but I just thought that these were just so stinking cute. Aren't these adorable? So anyway, yeah, I got another pair of tennis shoes. And you know, every once in a while, you know how you get a little baked on food on the side of that casserole, or maybe you've done eggs in the morning and you know, you didn't, you weren't very good at putting your dishes, you know, washing all those, that egg off, you know. Well, you know how egg just kind of when it dries, it's just like stuck on there. I mean, it is stuck. I'm gonna tell you what, ladies, if you will give these a try. These are by Scrub Daddy and these are called scour daddies. I got these at Walmart. They are just the nicest little sponge here. I'm going to try and get in. It's got the little nice little uh, weaving part up here on them and these are just so wonderful. Now if you've ever used the, the, the original scrub daddies, those are nice but for some reason they just don't last very long. These do. These last like two or three times longer than what the other ones are. And the weird thing is, is that these don't get a smell to them. You are going to love these. If you will stop at your Walmart and get a pack of these, I promise you, you're gonna be sending me messages going, Marsha, thank you so much. You had made my kitchen duties a whole lot quicker and a whole lot easier. You're gonna love me. All right, so the last thing that I wanna show you, ladies, um, you know, if you're like me and you do still suffer from that, you know, menopause hot flashes every once in a while, or, you know, if you are heat sensitive, I mean, the this little item has just, it just makes just that difference. I mean, it, it just makes such a difference. It really, really does. And they're cheap. They are. And I absolutely love these. These are the little handheld little fans. I get so many of these every time in the summertime when they start coming out. I find these in Walmart. And yes, you can see how crazy I am about my little fans. I have got these everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. I have got them in every single vehicle. I have got them in my little... Um, my little uh, four-wheeler thing that I drive around. They're in all of my trucks. They are, I've got a couple of them out there in my warehouse. They are scattered all throughout my house. Um, I've got, the other thing that I really like to use these for, I've got um, three of them down here in my little drawer. Come on, get out of there. Um, I've got four, three of them down here in my little drawer because the other thing that I really like to use these for 
is um, whenever I do my mascara, the first coat, if I'm going to go in with a second coat of mascara, I always just kind of sit and fan whenever I put that first layer of mascara on to get them really good and dry so that whenever you go in with your second um, application of mascara, that mascara is really going to go ahead and really adhere to that dry lash, you know? So that is another another thing that I really love these for. I have them in each each purse every time you know I switch out a handbag or whatever I always have one in my handbags um, when you have you know the hot flashes or you're just you know that heat sensitive especially like you know sometimes whenever you go in a restaurant and you know all of a sudden you know just that hot flash just just hits you and a lot of times what are you looking for you're looking for a menu or you're looking for something just to fan yourself off just to get you know just a little bit of that comfort this works. This works so darn well, I promise you. But they're fairly quiet. I'm not going to say that they are completely quiet. But I mean, just that little difference of just, you know, just a little bit of that air circulating on you. I mean, you know, it can it can really, really help, you know, like, um, you know, for instance, if you're sitting in church, and you start getting really hot, I mean, you know, you might be picking up your hymn book or your Bible or whatever and just start fanning away. If you'll just sit there and just get your little fan out, you know, and just turn it on, that preacher's going to not mind. Nobody's going to mind. You don't have to get up, you know, and leave the room. That preacher wants you to be sitting there and listening to a sermon, you know, and be comfortable. So, I mean, you know, I just, these are such a, I mean, just, a huge huge difference a huge difference um, my husband and I we went to his um, a school reunion I can't remember how many years it was a lot of years I want to say it was like a, his 40 year um, school reunion and um, you know the place where they had it at was I mean it was a beautiful place but you know you get a lot of people in a room you know and people are drinking you know and you know, they're sweating or whatever and one of the gals I mean she you know she came up and she was holding her hair up, you know, and trying to get a little air. And so I pulled this out of my purse and, you know, I turned it on her and she's like, oh my word. And so she sat there, you know, for just a little while cooling herself down. And then, you know, she went on. Well, about a couple of hours later, she found me again and she said, can I borrow your fan again? So yeah, pick some of these up. You're going to, you're going to love them. All right, so that is all that I have got for this little haul video. Um, you know, by now, y'all probably noticed that my lipstick has worn off. Um, so anyway, I'm going to keep giving this a try and testing this out, you know, and use it several times during the day. And um, But I can tell you that right now, um, you know, my lips, they do feel hydrated. Um, for me to tell you that they feel, um, you know, like plump, maybe just like, teeny teeny tiny little bit um, maybe just a little bit fuller maybe just I mean just just ever ever so slightly I will tell you that so anyway um, you know my my skinny little skillet lips here anything is a, a bonus so if um, if this is going to make any type of a difference you know with a little bit of the lines and you know a little bit of the appearance of my lips yeah I'm always willing to give it a try all right, well, I certainly hope that you enjoyed um, this little haul video. If you have any questions or comments, you're more than welcome to leave them down there in that comment section. I do want to say that, you know, I do have my little Instagram um, account, and I do leave all of that little link down there below. So I would love for you all to follow me on Instagram. I do um, share a lot of, like, upcoming videos, you know, that things, you know, I'll share a picture, you know, and go, oh, hey, by the way, we've got this coming up, you know, or stuff. Um, I also share little outfits that I put together, you know, um, so if you would, you would, I would really appreciate if you would go over and follow me on Instagram as well. I want to thank you so very much for hanging out with me, and as always, I wish you all a safe and wonderful day. Bye. I chose to use a primer with just a little bit of a radiance in it. The one that I chose is going to be by Charlotte Tilbury, and it is called Wonder Glow. The foundation I chose is by Wonder Beauty and it is called Flash Focus Hydrating Foundation Stick. I used a little bit of the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in rose gold in the corners of each of my eyes. The concealer is Makeup Forever and this is the Ultra HD Concealer. 
to set my under eyes, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. To give just a little bit of a blurring effect under my eyes, I used the Too Faced Peach Blur. To set the foundation, I used a little bit of the Laura Geller, and this is called the Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. The shade that I chose is Fair. The bronzer is by Too Faced, and it is the Sweetheart Bronzer in Sweet Tea. My blush is by Laura Geller, and it is called Baked Brulee Blush, and the shade is called Apple Custard. My highlighter is by Urban Decay, and it is Naked Illuminated. To prep my eyelids for the eyeshadow, I use the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. The eyeshadows that I chose today are by Too Faced I Want Candy Collection. I used a combination of these two shadows right here for my crease. My brow bone in my eyelid shade is this one right here. And then to darken up that outside crease, I use this one right here. My eyebrows are Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Now for tight lining, I use the NARS Larger Than Life, and this is the Long Wear Eyeliner, and the shade is called Via Veneto. Bottom lashes are the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. My top lashes are the Revital Lash Primer, and also one coat of the Revital Lash Mascara. My lipstick is Dalton, and the shade is called Sweet Talker. 